All right, welcome to the patch notes video. We had a huge update, including now being able to unlock Aaron Jaeger. All the Attack on Titan stuff is in the item shop, I believe. We've got the brand new Mythic, the ODM gear. We've got a lot of stuff to cover. I can't wait. Let's take a peek. So first and foremost, it looks like the Panda team leader got a brand new style finally. And look at this. It's Sid under there. What? Wait a minute. Is that right, Sid? That's awesome. I love the Sid character. What is this? This belongs to you? Corrupted Legends? Oh, part of the Web of Corruption set. Okay, nice. I always say when these team leader skins come back, they're outdated. They're 2,000 V-Bucks for most of them, and there's no additional style. So it's good to see this. That's awesome. She still has the ears, though. Why does she still have the ears? Pretty sweet regardless. I love it. Hey, I got a gift here from my great friend, Learn to Earn. He had a birthday yesterday. Hopefully it went well. I have a feeling this is going to be the brand new Attack on Titan bundle, and it is. So this is Mikasa Ackerman, as well as Levi Ackerman, a.k.a. Captain Levi. She comes with the Ore Light, and he comes with the Transformation Serum. Ooh. And you also get the Citadel Scout's loading screen. Looks like they do have multiple styles as well. Very, very cool. Of course, I'll do a full gameplay and review. Wait, did that light up? Oh, it did. I'll do a full gameplay and review on all of this stuff. Stay tuned. We got to unlock Aaron first. Thank you so much, Learn to Earn. I appreciate it. Another gift from Learn to Earn. Let's see if there's more. Holy smokes, there must be a gear pack as well. There's a nice cloak. It kind of looks a bit squarish, doesn't it? We've got the Thunder Spear Flyer. Pretty cool. An actual glider, the Thunder Spear Flyer again. Got the Snap Blade. Ooh, that looks nice. The Titan Run Rush. <laughs> okay. That's nice. The Titan Run Rampage. I think this last one's even funnier. The Titan Run Freestyle. <laughs> I'll have to show you where those are from when I do my gameplay and review. Thank you so much, Learn to Earn. Let's go to the item shop real quick and take a look. Wow, special animation there. That was awesome. Will it do it again? No, only once. Looks like she does have an additional cape off style. And that one is reactive, where you can turn the light on and off. And he has the cloak on and off as well. So individually, it looks like 1,500, 1,500, 1,200. That's just for the glider and the back bling. The Titan Run Pack is only 500. I like this new screen. You can see it in full detail. I love that. Way cool. I wonder if you can do that with everything. Let's see. Yeah, you can. That's going to be great for my thumbnails. Very cool. I think that's all that got updated. Let's just go to the very bottom. Yep. Nice. Now, in addition, the Aaron Jaeger quests are now available. It said on the Battle Pass screen five days from now, but he's fully unlockable right now. And it looks like a lot of people did tell fibs. They said there were going to be two pages of rewards. They tricked us. Those tricksters. What you see is what you get. So I'll cover all those challenges as well. It looks like we have the week five challenges now available. So let's take a quick look at the patch notes. I'll see if there's anything new. So they mention, of course, all the brand new Attack on Titan things. So then it says Battle from Above ODM gear. Retrievable from the ground, chess, and scout regiment footlockers. Put on Omnidirectional Mobility Gear, aka ODM. Having this apparatus equipped will give you the ability to grapple in the air and strike opponents below. After attacking with the built-in blades, you'll immediately boost back into the air so you can grapple elsewhere. Or hover and execute another attack. Think you've mastered the ODM gear? Try knocking down the Titan targets on the island. And then there's Fight Explosively Thunder Spears, also retrievable from the ground, chess, and scout regiment footlockers. Thunder Spears are arm-launched rockets designed to penetrate armored structures, detonating to damage enemies on both sides. That's interesting. And here's what the new footlocker looks like, where you can find the ODM gear and or Thunder Spears. Then it says Jaeger's Family Basement. Jaeger's Family Basement has appeared on the island, but just as this basement contains many secrets, its exact location in Anvil Square is a secret too. Find the location of this new nook in Anvil Square. Shouldn't be that hard to find. Then it talks about Aaron Jaeger and how we can unlock him. We knew that already. 
Then it says, Dirt Bikes Unvaulted. The trail ahead is mega. When you're not boosting on a rogue bike, get back on the dirt bike. Okay, so it's like the rogue bike, but a little slower and weaker without the boost. And then we've got some balance changes. It says they unvaulted the Porta Bunker in Zero Build. Let's go! I didn't see anyone talk about that. They introduced a rare rarity kinetic blade. With identical damage to the epic kinetic blade, this rare counterpart only has two charges. Rare kinetic blades can be found from the ground and kinetic blade stands. Okay. So obviously you still want the purple ones, AKA Epic, because they have three. Reduced the max headshot damage of the Mythic Havoc Pump Shotgun. Oh man, they nerfed the Mythic. Reduced the accuracy and hip fire of the Mythic Overclocked Pulse Rifle. Oh no. PC players are gonna be in a world of hurt now. In trios and squads, reduce the number of Mythic Overclocked Pulse Rifles dropped by capturing a rifting in POI. Uh oh. And lastly, in trios and squads, reduce the number of Mythic Havoc pump shotguns from inside the vaults. Yikes, they nerfed everything on the Mythics. So there you go. Those are all the patch notes. It sounds like an amazing update. I can't wait to hop in. Like I said, I'll be doing challenge guides on how to unlock Mr. Aaron Yeager. And I'll do a full game plan review on the entire Attack on Titan bundle. Stay tuned. So there you go. That's all there is to it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. A like is always appreciated. And don't forget to use my supporter creator code which is Tabor time.